It's all right, officer. I'm just waiting for a friend. It's an appointment made 20 years ago. <laughs> Sounds a little funny to you, doesn't it? Well, I will explain if you want to make certain that it's all straight. And about that, there used to be a restaurant where the store stands. Big Joe Brady's restaurant. Until five years ago, it was torn down then. Twenty years ago, I dined here at Big Joe Brady's along with Jimmy Wells, my best chum and the finest guy in the world. <laughs> he and I were brought up in Newtown, just like two brothers together. Uh, I was twenty and he was eighteen. The next day morning, I was about to leave to the west to make my fortune. <laughs> you couldn't have dragged Jimmy out of Newtown because he believed there is no other place like Newtown in this world. <laughs> well, we agreed that night, exactly 20 years later, we would meet here from that date and time. No matter what our conditions might be or, or what distance we might have to travel. We figured in 20 years we would have our destinies worked out, our fortunes made, whatever it may be. It sounds pretty interesting. Rather a long time between meets. Though, it seems to me, haven't you heard from your friend since you left? Well, yes. For a time, we corresponded. But after a year or two, we lost track of each other. Mm. You see, the West is a pretty big proposition <laughs> and I kept hustling around over it pretty lively. But I know Jimmy will come here to meet me if he is alive for he always was the truest, strongest old chap in the world. He'll never forget. He'll never forget. Ah, uh, I came a thousand miles to stand at this door and it's worth it if my old chap turns up. Hmm. It's three minutes to ten. It was exactly at ten o'clock when we parted from here at this restaurant door. 
Wow. Did pretty well out west, didn't you? You bet. I hope Jimmy might have done half as well. I'll be on my way. Hope your friend comes around all right. Going to call time on him shop? Uh, I should say not. I'll give him half an hour at least. If Jimmy is alive on this earth, he will be here by that time. So long, officer. Good night, sir. Is that you, Bob? Is that you? Jimmy Wells? Bless my heart. It's Bob, sure as fate. I was <laughs> certain I would find you here if you're still alive. Well, well, well. Twenty years is the long time. All this gone. I wish it had lasted. Mm, so long. We could have had another dinner there. <laughs> well, how has the West treated you, old man? Ah, bully. It has given me everything I have asked it. Doing well in new town, Jimmy. Moderately. Mm -hmm. I work with the city establishment. Mm -hmm. Well, come on, Bob. Mm. Let's go to a place I know. Yeah, sure. We will have good long talk about the good old days. Hey, you are not Jimmy Wells. Ooh, well, twenty years is a long time. But not for a man's nose to change from a rum into a bug. Sometimes it can change a good man into a bad one. You are under arrest for the past ten minutes, Silky Bob. Chicago thinks you might drop away. She wants to have a talk with you. That's what she wants. Coming with us quietly, are you, Bob? That's sensible. Now wait, wait before you take you to the station. I was asked to give you this note. You may have a look at it by this window. It's, it's given to you by Patrolman Wells. I was at the appointed place on time. When he struck the match to light your cigar, I saw it was the face of the man wanted in Chicago. Somehow. I couldn't do it myself, so I went round, got a plain clothes man to do the job, Jimmy. Mm -hmm.